I know that it's not on here, but I do want to look at, so what this means, right, is if I have something like 3x plus 2y minus 2x plus 1y, right? The things that would go in the same tree are the things that can be put together, right? So this 3x and that minus 2x, those are things that can be put together. So 3x and then you're minusing 2x would give me 1x, right? Then we have that positive 2y and that positive 1y. Well, two of these plus another one would be 3y, okay? So if you combine like terms, that's kind of what we're looking at. And again, if you go back to what we did up here, right, if it makes more sense in your brain, feel free to think of it as two xylophones and, you know, two yo-yos, right? Then you're taking away two xylophones and you're adding a yo-yo, right? Like think of it as if it were actual things and that will help some of us, okay? I promise you, you will be okay. So the second part of today is that distributed property that we worked on. So up here you have two examples and we've done this just like this, right? Some of us are perfectly content to just say, well, three times X is three X, three times one is three, put that minus sign down here, right? Some of us need this second piece right here. So I think it's one of those things where you need to do what you need to do. But this, right, we talked about a negative six would be on the outside and then it would be times X. The negative six would be on the outside and it'd be times negative seven. Negative six times X, well, that's just negative six X. Negative six times negative seven, well, that's just 42, okay? So I believe that you'd be less likely to mess up signs if you do it this way, because you can kind of take the sign with it, but you do you, okay? Same thing here, we have negative three times negative x, negative three times negative seven. I'd be positive three x and positive 21. All right, I want you to try number three. So pause the video and try number three. Welcome back. So we should have negative eight times x, which is negative eight X. And then we should have negative eight times negative seven, which is a positive 56. So that's what you should have gotten. Okay. Now for four, some of you are going to be like, oh my gosh, a fraction is above. What am I going to do? Bob? I remember it. Like you have a calculator that gives you fractions. Like it is not that deep. Okay. So try that one as well. Pause the video and then come on back. Welcome back. We have one half times 10 X. We have oh, oh, one half times negative four. Well, half of 10 is five. Half of four is two. That is what you should have gotten.